I agree. Never I asked mean, me. I love Monique. She's done my show. And I love Candace. She's done my show. Period. That's it. I, 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 yeah. yeah, me too. Um, in anything else happened at Chateau Monique when you were hanging out there? Did you see? Um, did you see T'Challa? Was this during T'Challa's reign? Yes. To t- oh. No, T'Challa, oh, yes, T'Challa was there. He would hang out on her shoulder. And I don't know, you know, she came on my show, you know, he did, he, well, first of all, he flew away, right? And like, then he was found by a neighbor or something in the tree or he was found like he'd flown back to her house and like she got him. Okay, so she was like so in love with this bird. Then I don't know, he suffered some like scare. He basically died by some accident. I don't know what happened. I don't know if- something ate him or he was run over. I have no idea because she, as far as I know, I don't think she has ever given detail as to what happened because she said it's so traumatic. And I mean, I love giving Monique a hard time. I mean, Monique grew up with a menagerie of animals. I mean, I think at one point when she was like a child, they had like a pet macaw monkey or something. So she loves animals. She said she'd love to have like this zoo. Um, Well, you know what? I give her a hard time about, you know, cause I'm like, oh my God, that would be my nightmare. Like I would never want a fucking monkey in my house. Like, oh, I would never want any of it. I do like a fish tank and I like sharks and I like jellyfish. I, I like a fish tank. At one point I almost got a fish tank in the wall at one of my apartments, like a real. And then she I was has- like, I'm selling the apartment. Everyone, we're not doing any fish tank. 180. We're not staying here for the rest of our lives. Sale, no fish tank, call it. But I love a fish tank. Um, Okay, so she's not coming back for a girl's trip. No, um, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you one more tidbit. It, I'll say this from filming with them and being at their home multiple times. They were not, they for a long time have not been happy with Bravo. They did not, and and let me just say they would make it pretty clear <laughs> to everybody there including the producers that they hated it. So I, I think they're very happy to move on. I mean, listen, um, it's like the definition of insanity. It doesn't yeah. get better. There's no yeah. point complaining to Andy. There's no point complaining to the highest up, the producers. They will just, it's, you will, it's not you. You are a cog in the wheel. I am sorry if I sound negative. That is how it is. You are there for have your life exploited for all of our enjoyment. You will make really good money year oh. four and on. And when they're done, they will kick you out and they will call you back like this phone call from Andy when they are ready for you to use you again and kick you back out. As long as you know that, go run. And apparently lots of people love it. It's when you think you're getting into a nice, wholesome situation and you are so interesting and we can't wait to learn about your life. No, honey, the joke's on you. And there we go. Um, totally. I mean, I've talked about it till I was blue in the face with Kim. Anything you want to say? You and I haven't covered the big wedding. No, I, you know, I watched and listened to some of your recaps, um, but I, no, I really, I, you know, I find the all the cheating rumors the most interesting thing. I, I find what's really going on with Melissa and Joe and Louie and Trey probably the most fascinating. We're going to see it all on the next season of RHO um, and Jay. I don't. I wasn't particularly that into their wedding. I wasn't. The hair, like I love. She looked great. She seems genuinely madly in love with Louie. I hope they last thirty five years. Um, I just. I hope. I hope I can't stand the tiara on any grown woman, not just Teresa. It just, it's so fucking tacky. You're not a princess. The only two people in this world right now that should be wearing a tiara are Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton. Honey, the rest, this, so this was bigger than, this was bigger. I mean, all weekend, Kim and I, cause you know, for our show, we were texting all weekend. Every time an outfit was presented, every time, I mean, it was literally, I'm like, this is literally taking over my weekend. This is, this is like crazy. This is What did you crazy. think? What'd you I think? Mean, Did you like the tiara? Did you like the hair? First of all, go and watch my videos on YouTube. Um, the little clips of me and Kim um, doing our recap wedding special. I 
went onto Amazon and for $9.99, a tiara arrived at David Yontef's Hamptons house. And I put the tiara on my head and I screamed at Kim D. Screamed that she better go oh, fucking, God. you better go get your fucking tiara. Oh, I think, I, what do you mean you think you have one? Get off your ass, Kim. Move your seven dogs out of the way and either <laughs> order a fucking tiara or go find them. I'm like, we're doing, you need a tiara for the wedding special, bitch. And she got her tiara. Um, I didn't particularly <laughs> like the tiara. I didn't particularly like the hair. Um, this is coming out after my Kim D stuff. Uh, to me, the best dress housewife was Kenya Moore. To me, the worst dress housewife was Chanel Ion from Dubai. Oh, the black suit was just so, ah. Uh, I don't know if like her luggage was lost or what happened, but I'm just like, you're at a celebratory fabulous day. It's a thousand fucking degrees. What? Oh, that was so bad. I'm like, this is the girl that serves us looks on Dubai all season, whether you love them or hate them, you know, but like, I don't know. It's like, that's what you wore. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like you've been I'm to so wedding. With it's you. weird. And then K Kenya was my best dressed. And then second best housewife dressed. I'm trying to think who did I like after Kenya? Oh, you know who I thought looked actually good? And it kind of ties into Miami. I thought it was cute. Was Alexia? She had the alligator. Yeah, she looked great. I thought Margaret Josephs looked really good. Um, our girl Ashley Darby was there. I think Ashley I didn't was like Ashley's. No, I, 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 no, I wasn't like overly wowed. Um, Do you yeah. know what the problem is? Ashley needs to mix it up. She's one of those who like it's the same look every reunion, every wedding. Take a risk, girl. Take a risk. I actually thought Jill Zarin looked good, like oh, her sun-kissed so look. And believe it or not, I didn't, I thought Dorinda's actually, I liked it. I liked it. Oh, you did. Dorinda. Yeah. Dorinda looked good. Dorinda looked like she'd lost weight. She did, right? Yeah, she looked very fit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm excited. I, I was very, I'm, I'm very happy for Teresa. I want it all to work out for Trey. I do. I mean, as far as Melissa, I know the guy that is rumored to be, you know, I, I know of him. I've been in his presence before. I know exactly who it is that the rumors are there. Hot. <sighs> beyond i went into a whole thing with oh, kim i mean listen and i'm not even trying to be vague anyone that wants to listen to this can go find my kim and i did an entire episode on did melissa kiss this guy uh, literally it's one hour on that we deep dive i really do have strong feelings about whether it happened or not and i'm convinced that i'm right but look i don't want to ruin a life so okay, well uh, oh episode okay well i'm gonna listen to that hot take and let me tell you that's a hot take um, I look, can't believe what you're saying. I can't. And I mean, I know we have to go, but like, I need to tune into these because you are such a Bravo insider. And if you're leaning in that direction, see, I was going to say there's no way, no way, but that would be, you wow. know what it is. If I didn't know every 